Sir, you start with the universal pairs, sir. Okay, Pradeep. Yes. So let us be quiet. Oh, oh, hidden life, vibrant in every atom. Oh, hidden light, shining in every creature. Oh, hidden love, embracing all in oneness. May each who feels himself as one with thee know he is also one with every other. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you. We will continue now. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, today our speaker is uh, Professor Brother Ajay Rai. He is from Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh, India. And first of all, I welcome all the members and the sympathizers who are present here from India as well as from outside India. Uh, warm greetings from Indian section online platform for joining in this uh, forum. <clears throat> Our speaker is Brother Ajay Rai. He is a uh, qualification is MSc Zoology, and uh, he obtained doctorate, PhD in development of biology. He retired as a professor, having forty-four years of uh, teaching experience, teaching. Uh, his faculty to graduate and postgraduate students. Uh, <clears throat> he has been uh, writing articles, lectures on scientific and theosophical topics uh, at various platforms. He joined theosophical uh, movement uh, uh, way back, 20 years back. And uh, uh, with uh, all humility, he expressed that he is still student, still learning, and practicing theosophical principles in a daily life. At present, he is the secretary of one of the very important and uh, strong uh, theosophical lodge uh, near Indo-Nepal border. Uh, that is known as Gorakhpur. Gorakhpur, uh, that is a SH Theosophical Society, and he is at present the secretary of that laws, and uh, he is a regular uh, visitors to different uh, parts of India, uh, particularly to Bhavali, and uh, uh, there attending seminar, conference, he also delivered talk on theosophical subject, particularly science relating to theosophical angles in a, in an actual platform at Adair during the international convention. So also in online platform in different forums. Uh, with this short introduction, I invite Brother Ajay Rai, very interesting topic, uh, the science and art of dream. Uh, it, it is part one because he will complete in the next session in the month of May. So I invite you, sir. Welcome, you, sir. Thank you, Pradeep Bhai, for a very nice word. In Thank fact, you. yesterday was the new year, Chet Pratipada Shukla. And not only that, the, the energy flow in the system, in the Hindu system, it is considered as 
and the uh, uh, navratra has also started and today is a brahmacharini day so i pray to that god that shakti to uh, give all of us the strength so that we be able to perform our divine duties assigned uh, by 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 the almighty the great architect of the universe to uh, so that we be able to uh, enhance in our evolutionary journey friends uh, i will not be out of place to mention the generosity shown by the uh, the by the organizer to split the topic this is a topic is a detailed topic into two parts the first part i will be taking it and i shall try to complete it in the 45 minute so that we can interact on it friend the topic which we are to ponder this morning is uh, the religion and art of greek friends uh, the religion and art of the dream do places certain questions queries in front of our mind the first question arises is what is dream why do dream occurs do everyone get gets a dream why do we sometimes get a very fair, very lovely dream we come in a very enjoyable mood why do we get sometimes a very horrifying dreams a dreams uh, which gives us pain so now the question arises what are the causes of the dream how do the dream occurs when does the dream occur at what stage of the sleep does the dream occur do the dream reflect something in our life is it is it a reflection of the coming events of the future events or moreover can we have a dream of our own taste what are the chemicals and how are the brain responsible to it friend to get into a topic let me first define what actually dream means how do you define dream dream are stories and images that the mind creates while we sleep it can be entertaining as i mentioned it can provide fun it can be romantic on the other hand it can be disturbing it can be frightening etc etc now this dream depends upon what we have in the mind before we go to sleep for instance on the eve of christmas a child going to a bed is assured of he has a feeling that the santa claus and nicolas or the santa claus will be coming next morning and will be providing some gift to him so he had a very pleasant moment to sleep to it in a hindu house the most of the houses i have seen in my houses the child the mother sing songs while they while they get the child to sleep and then in the song they say that may you be taken to the fairy lands may you be provided all the goodies and goodies and on just slapping on the temporal region of her head with the boy get into a sleep and you observe the child of a one year he you will find it is smiling and otherwise but what would happen to man who is to be hanged next morning what type of a sleep does he get so it is it is the internal factor which is responsible for the sleep as well as the external the memory which he has accumulated maybe two hours before or there may be a sleep uh, the memory we have taken it at a very far time away so the dream which occurs depends upon the 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 memory the impression which your mind has with a certain self has and that impression may be a short time or a long time similarly dream can further be defined as it is a state of consciousness characterized by sensory cognitive and 
emotional occurrence during sleep. It is an activation of the memory. We have a memory cell. In fact, we have billions and billions of cells in the brain. Let, let me just, and it is all the act of the brain. And the brain acts just in the two way, either by, by it, it, trans, it, it, it transmit the messages, either by transducing, the transducing can be chemically, or it can be by the vibration created in the brain. So the, the memory cell get activated to create a brain. It is further said, it is the activation of the memory which is present in the brain cell and where dreams has a little control. Once it gets activated, what type of storage it has, the dream depends upon it. The dream can further be defined by a physiologist or an, a psychologist a physiologist and a psychologist define dream as a conscious state that occurs during sleep and it is characterized by endogenous sensory, motor, emotional, and other experiences. So the dream can be defined into these parts. And these dreams do, if you analyze the dream, the dream can be analyzed into two ways. The structure of the dream involved, number one, is a neuro, if you analyze it by the neuroscientific terms, it is the, how does the dream is produced? The structure depends upon the memory cell and the memory cell getting is stimulated to produce the dream thereby. And the organization of the dream by the surrounding cell as we know, the surrounding cells do activate the other cells, and these other cells produces the feeling, and these feelings also get into it. And third is the narratability of the dream. So dream can be analyzed either by the neuroscientifically as a dream production, as a dream organization, or as a neutrality. It can also be, it can also be uh, analyzed psycho, psychologically, a psychoanalytical analysis concentrate on or consist of what does a dream, what we are having has the meaning behind it. Why are we having this dream? You must have heard about the stories that sometimes many, many mysteries are solved. Even the murder mystery, a late the girl has been murdered in the next birth. He, he, in the dream, he could reveal all the things and could trace out, the, could take the police to the spot and could trace out the weapon and could solve the misery how she has been killed. So the dream, the cause of the dream also reflect about your past memories and can reveal some of the hidden mysteries or the fact. Analysis of the dream content and its relationship with the part seems to be the one of the important factor in the psychoanalysis. That is, the history of the dreamer is thereby responsible to it. Analysis of the theme, there are different types of the, the dream. If you see what type of dream you take, it, we will be discussing it in the, the, the detail a bit later. Analysis of the dream, the dream figure, and the comparison with the object he is observing to it. These analysis and analysis in the waking state, sometimes a short memory, you get into dream, say one or two days before you have a quarrel or a fight with your friend or with someone. And then the response, you get that into a dream. So that dream also reflect about those. So example, then, then the other dream you can have it when you are preparing for the examination. Then during examination, you have a dream that you are having a paper, you are missing the paper. It depends upon your preparation and the confidence which is figured and stimulate the cells in the brain, especially the core brain cells, which I will be discussing, amyl glada or hippocampus, that secretes 
through the hindbrain RAS, I will be discussing about it in a bit detail in the next part. So friend, these are the way we define what dream actually is, how we can define a dream. Dream are broadly two types. The first dream, which you see with your open eye, and this dream you should cultivate. If you are not having it, you should cultivate. You should have it. One must fix a goal and one must strive to achieve it. We are in the four phases. We are all uh, Atmanan. We are all brethren on the path of the evolution. We have a divine responsibility for, for which we have taken this path. And the responsibility has to be fulfilled by a determination, by a diligence. So the first dream is fix a goal. It, all, it occurs in all, all ashram. As a brahmachar, you can imagine a boy, a child, such, such a helpless child is born in a human being that it doesn't even know how to reach the feeding point. You have the mother take or the auntie take an assistant and bring the bring the newly born child to, to, the, to, the, to the breast for the feeding and he even doesn't know how to suck it. So he is allowed to just put the nipple inside and gradually he learns the art of sucking or taking the food inside. Even in the breathing, since he is born into an aquatic environment in the, uh, what is called as the amniotic fluid, and once he gets out of it, from once he takes a birth, he is put into he is put into a new environment where he has to respire and inhale the uh, inhale the air. So in that case too, it's sometimes the assistance of the other people. So right from the basic metabolic requirements on to the getting into a fold of so that he can face the challenges of the world and he could perform his divine duty, the brahmachari stage of the learning, and he must fix a goal, as Arjuna has a fixed a goal, that he has to become the biggest archer. And in order to become a biggest archer, he should be focusing on the topic, like he has been focusing on the bird's eye. Similarly, the stage of the brahmacharya is to acquire the capabilities technology and methodology by which you be able to at least sustain yourself and return the debt with the society the mother or parents has given to build you from a nowhere to a stage of to stage of a helplessness to a stage of a thing where you become the master of the universe so that with the humility you must accept the technology and the second stage as you know is the Grihastha Ashram stage, is the stage where you have a responsibility, is the Karma Yoga, not only for yourself, but to your family, to your society, to your nation, and to the purpose you are born to. And the third stage, as we are, that is Vam Prasthi stage, is the stage of a Pratyar, that we must reduce our activities and whatever knowledge we have, we have to part to the citizen so that they move to a direction which be help, helpful not only to him, to a nation, and be helpful in creating the universal brotherhood. So this is the first motto. The first requirement is to, to develop a, a criteria of getting fit into so that we not only be a part of the universal brotherhood, but we be we we be. Uh, elevating it, we will be spreading the idea, the great idea of the universal brotherhood, as we are all part of the same Paramatma. We are all part of the same Muna. So this part is what we dream, is a dream with the open eye, and it is the essential prerequisite, and each and every person must go for such a dream, must adopt for the dream. There are difficulties, but you should have a confidence in yourself to say, yes, I shall do it. And yes, I would succeed. The second part, which is the part which we'll be discussing and which, which I started with, 
the dream what we have during is sleep now the question is what is the sleep sleep is the part of our daily cycle the cycle is broadly called as a circadian cycle so the awakening and sleep is a part of it normally one fourth part of the uh, circadian daily circadian cycle of the, the cycle what we have should go to the sleep however when we see about our prime minister he says that he sleeps only for a four hour five hour that depends upon the quality of the sleep you have but sleep is a state which is not only a nourishment getting prepared for the next journey for the next uh, rejuvenation stage it is a stage of detoxification it is a stage of the repair of the thing it is a state, detoxification why i only say that that the chemical which are by product of the uh, metabolism has been assimilated in our system has to be removed off detoxification of the mind is also there the mind is who who has been taken numerous uh, valuable and invaluable part for so many hours has to be deleted with it has to be refreshed and it is not only to be refreshed it has to be rejuvenated it has to be detoxified the immune system has to be so that the next morning you get up with a vigor with a with a strength to perform your divine duty to perform your responsibility to the best possible way but like ara pankha on kar do do the best possible way friend so the dream this dream is equally important and this dream when we talk about the circadian cycle the circadian cycle clearly mentioned clearly mentioned about uh, the about, about a periodical g present in our system in fact i will not be out of place to mention that the 2017 nobel prize has been awarded for this circadian cycle to a three american scientists namely uh, jeffrey c hall and michael rosbach and michael w young they 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 talked about the the inner clock and they talked about how the waking and uh, and the sleep cycle occur in you not only that how the metabolic cycles occur in you because the hunger prank or the the time of your sleep the time of your going to a bathroom urination the time of your activity are very well regulated by a gene called as a periodical gene and they have worked out they have worked further ahead that by the methylation of a dna dna is a part of a gene by the methylation of the dna and thereby forming a dna on a on a slide that is on the chromatographic analysis it can be worked out by seeing the spectrum by seeing the band that how much metabolic activity has been performed and even that what is the your age it can also be determined by just analyzing these periodical genes this periodical gene is not only present in the human being it is also present in all the animal the migration of the bird the migration of the uh, that is didominus or catadominus or anadominus migration of the fishes or uh, other animal is all based on even if you have seen that, that the animal migrate from the, from the one one side to the other side as a breeding or a feeding type even the large number of the mammals they are all because of the circadian cycle the circadian cycle is thereby thereby responsible for and as in the hindu system or the indian system you must have heard about that we are born with a number of breath so in the meditation if you reduce the number of breath then your life period increases it is very true by the analysis of a dna methylated technique and by its chromato that by, by its bond it can be easily determined that what life you have the sleeping is further controlled by the certain hormone one of the most important hormone is the male. is is called as a serotonin and melatonin so serotonin gets it converted into melatonin by the simple dehydrogenation and by the formation of the five 
H I A that is hydroxy three hydroacetic acid. This is the chemical which get converted into, and this is the responsible for. These are the cells responsible for the cycle of sleep and death. Friends, the dream occurs during when we talk about the dream, which we are focusing this morning, is the dream due to or when we talk about during the sleep. The dream this which occurred during the sleep is of the various type, especially. it occurs in the four stages now before we get into the dream or asli is all the play work of a brain the brain creates certain vibrations and this vibrations has different amplitude they have a different wavelength they have a different pitch and thereby create a different or by which the activities is being regulated previously it was considered that all metabolic activities are the activities explained by a biochemical change now along with the biochemical changes it is now considered that it is the frequency which produces uh, by by the cell responsible to it in fact the human cell or any animal cell is now recognized by the irritability effect coming down to a brain cell which controls the activity of the sleep the brain cell only consists of the 2% of the body weight but however they are 200 more than a 200 type and they are in 100 billions in number what they do it although they have 2 2% they receive nutrient and oxygen more than 15% thereby if you are receiving more oxygen and nutrient more energy is being created in the brain cell and the creatinine arc which takes the blood is the purest blood which takes into the brain so brain becomes the center of the controlling of all the activities maybe the production of the energy or the consumption of the energy as i am consuming at the moment by putting it into a speech that is a speech energy or a heat energy whatever energy it is so brain is what is creating energy in the form of anabolism and thereby spending energy so this brain if they are re receiving 2% receiving 16% of the that is eight more times so they are producing eight more times of energy now do you know that during sleep too there are certain cells which which although they are they are, they, are, they are active and they are showing some irritability they are in but their actions get hardly get greatly reduced still the poor brain and the mid brain and the high brain portion do create it so now 200 types of varieties of cell are responsible for creating dream in you and how does a dream create in the sleep it can be defined in a in a in a theosophy or when you get into a mediate meditation you say that there are four stages the first is called as a waking state second called is the sleeping state third is called as the deep sleeping state and fourth is the tanya state that surya state and that is stage is stage of bliss so similarly things are when do we get a sleep in that depends upon the sleep state the first stage during the sleep is called as first stage is the light sleep state it is marked by the slow eye movement the when when you get to a bed and you try to sleep and you try to close your eye you complete your evening prayer you want to get relaxed to your image you don't immediately get into dream every moment the ideas which were the mind which were creating so many thoughts start reducing slowly but when you the first stage of the sleep your eyes is still keeps on moving and some ideas or thoughts are always there so what we do is we get into a prayer concentrate and reduce more of the ideas and come to a point so that 
we can figure out this sleep process. So what actually happened during that period, the exhausted muscle, the muscle which has the lactic acid, the pyruvic acid which has got converted, which is the, which is the main molecule for producing energy, get converted into a lactic acid or even an ethanol. And these ethanol brings about a drowsiness into it. The elimination of the lactic acid through your system brings about muscular relaxation. The muscle is made. I, this is slightly for those who have some knowledge of the uh, biology. The actin and myosin is responsible for the calcium. The calcium oxalate, which is also there, get reconverted and then detoxification, the muscular relaxation occurs. So the first stage is the stage of less muscular activity, detoxification of the muscle, and the movement of the eye is there, but the reduction of the thoughts in the mind. And this stage varies only for four and five for four and five percent of the sleep, and then you get into a sleep. The second stage is of the sleep is the eye movement then completely stops or it reduces almost to negligible observation. And then the brain waves become slow. The ideas which were spreading become slow. And in between, occasional, well, it becomes slow. Then sometimes when you are almost speaking, you all of a sudden get a spike. And this is spike, I bring you back to some memory and then that memory goes back or this is spike push you into a sleeping mode. It is both the type. This is called as sleep spindle. This is sleep, occasional sleep spindle occur. And this is sleep spindle occur, gives you more relaxation, leads you to detoxificate your system. And it occupies 40 to 50% of the sleep period. And you are thereby getting closer to the sleep. The third stage is the ex then the wave, the wave because of the alpha or a delta, the alpha or a beta region or a theta region, get to a more smaller horse of a delta region. And this delta region wave appears between in in a, in a small uh, in a small uh, thrust, and in a small thrust they appear, and thereby it 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 leads to a deeper. You lead to a sleep, but this thrust coming a spindle or a thrust in you makes you twist and turn of the bed. That you 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 take a curve. You are, if you are sleeping straight, you get either to the right side or the left side. So getting to the right side or the left side in an involuntary manner is only because of during a split, the twist which occurs due, due to the delta wave. The fourth stage is a deep sleep state, what we call even in that meditation state. Delta wave are then exclusively produced. All other waves are stopped. Delta waves are exclusively produced. The delta waves are the waves of two to three horse. And it, it is the period when the body gets not only repair, detoxification, it is the period of rejuvenation. And during sleep, it affects in the, in the similar manner as when you do in the meditation home. The ohm vibration produced in your detoxify your system, even in the wake state. Similarly, this delta state, even not by the pronunciation of the ohm, it produces that. So on that awakening, with a difficulty, the person feels disordered. Now, when the person gets into a deep sleep state, if you try to disturb him or try to awaken him, he, he is either disoriented, he does not know what are you talking of. He will normally won't get easily out of his sleep. He may be even become violent and may hit you because he is in a he is in a stage, a stage of a trauma 
where he is enjoying the sleep. So if you disturb it, he is get either disoriented. He will take some time to recollect what is being happening, and above all, he will even come become reactive. This is uh, this state goes for almost ten to fifteen percent of the sleep. Now the fifth stage is the stage when we get. These are the stage where N R E M occur. That is. Uh, ro rotatory eye movement is the non-rotatory eye movement state. Eye movement, what was there in the state one has reduced, come to a reduction, and has almost stopped at one level. But at the fifth stage, the stage of that, what we call as rapid eye movement state, is a stage when all difficulties occur. The rapid eye movement state is marked by. By by your breathing, by by your observing your breathing, your breathing become irregular. The smooth and slow breathing in the deep sleep state, with the delta wave, enjoying the highest trance state, get disturbed. It becomes irregular, and once it becomes irregular, your eye start moving. This is called as rotatory eye movement. It becomes rapid, and this become it. Sometimes it becomes slow, and sometimes become fast. The jerk starts, and this jerk start in the various direction. Your although your limb muscles or leg muscles or other muscles are in a very very reduced in almost semi paralytic way, not under your control, and your respiration rate also is a different way. Your heart, which was very the systolic and diastolic beat, which was in a very rhythmic manner, becomes slightly irregular. It started pumping more and more energy to a different system, and as blood pressure also rises. And sometimes it is the stage when uh, when uh, uh, penile erections also occur. It to the blood into your sex organ also reaches there. On awakening, people they 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 talk illogical and they behave. If you if you awaken the people, they talk illogical. Friend, this is the high time, which is responsible for all type of disorder in 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 the human system. Let it be let it be the case of somnambulism. Somnambulism is 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 a criteria of sleep. Of. What actually happened? This eye movement, rotatory eye movement, you start dreaming. This is a stage when the dream occurs, and during dreaming, how do the people start walking? The dream, the as I told you, there are billions of cells. The side cells again get stimulated. The side cell stimulation leads to your cerebrospinal fluid, and this cerebrospinal fluid. Affect your spinal nerve and it get activated. So man, although in this sleep with a rotatory eye movement, with a different metabolic, with a with a very very irregular, unexplained metabolic activity, the breathing may be or whatever it may be, the spinal cord get the spinal cord get in, the spinal nerve get in, 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 induced and he gets up. And he gets up and he starts moving in the room. He can take even the car, uh, the key of the car, and can go for the drive. But he is all in the sleep. He is all uh, acting on the on not on the brain, but on the spinal regulated because of the rotatory eye movement. And then he come back. This is called as a sleep walking or sobnam sobnambulism is the phenomena. So how does it occur? It occurs into this stage. Whatever sleep, whatever dream you have, and dream whatever affects your system is into this period. Friend, similarly, the sleep talking is also there. What we call as a somni log. What actually happens? What and and have you ever heard? You must have if you sleep with your some partner or if you sleep in a group. There are persons. Who talk during sleep? 
and the talk is in the form as if he is putting some sentence and it has been replied and then he is counter replying you are not hearing the reply so there are the two two factor inside it to which he is in a dream he has got a he, he as a subject has got an object he is talking with the subject an object and this how does it have happened it again trigger out the brain of the temporal region and the temporal region brain although he is in his sleep rotatory eye movement he start talking what is what is there in the memory and when he gets up he is not able to respond to it what he has been doing it similarly narcolepsy also happen narcolepsy is a disease when the and it's a very dangerous disease narcolepsy tests are made to the driver or to whenever you go to because sometimes the driver just on the driving get get a small nap or just sleep on them why do they sleep is is the because of a certain situation called as a uh, hyper hyper creatine secretion in the system and the hyper creatine secretion comes because of insomnia and insomnia leads to this hyper creatine leads to rotatory eye movement and rotatory eye movement immediately brings back to your sleep and to a dream and you get into a sleep giving a lecture there are the people who get into a sleep is because of this factor called as the narcolepsy narcolepsy is disease it can be cured and sometime it can cause as a cataplexy cataplexy is that during narcolepsy the paralysis within in the system occur when you get it is not only disoriented is he he will slur he will not be able to speak or respond to you properly he will take some time to get back to a normality is because of this factor that is called as a cataplexy and it is secreted by a hormone called as a hypocreatin from inside so this type of a disorder similarly as i told you there is also called as a, a sleep urination sleep urias sleep urias after due to when they are in the rotatory eye movement they feel that they are in the bathroom and they do it that is in the part of the sleep they they wet the bed similarly uh, uh, obstructive sleep apnea occur obstructive sleep apnea the breathing becomes slow because all all is uh, your breathing your digestion your detoxification your immune system all are controlled by the brain cells of the brain do produce a certain type of a vibration which is responsible to it so this breathing apnea they immediately they engulfing they, they start some problem into respiration a very short duration and then they come into normal because it's not properly although when you sleep certain metabolic activity occurs the heart beat is there the respiratory reaction is there the urine formation excretion is there the immune system is working detoxification of all your system is occurring repairs of cells are occurring bloods are again whatever the cells has been destroyed are being eliminated out all this toxification are occurring there uh, similarly a uh, restless leg syndrome to occur sometimes you have a pain in the leg is because of these sleeping uh, syndrome and this sleeping syndrome is all related into the first stage of rem so friend now these are the stages which are responsible to bring upon the changes or to bring upon the sleep and the sleep responsible for the abnormalities in the system for the disease there are it can be controlled by the best way is by the psychologist by a psychotherapist there are a medicine also to it but it is not the past that chapter we should not get too much of the scientific part of it similarly the the waves which are produced are responsible they are not only helpful in the meditation as uh, as i have earlier mentioned in one of my lectures that now there are neurotheologists and neurotheology is fast coming up one of the name which is very well talk about is a Elia Delio is a pharma neurotheologist 
or a Dale Carniad who, who, who speaks about the God and neurotransmitter and God neurons and God self, we get activated during meditation. When we come to the meditation and start discussing about the meditating factors and how the meditation affects your system to bring about the calmness in you, which you read either by the chakras or how does the chakra reaches over there is the next part of the discussion. It should not be taken into a detail at this moment. So, friends, now the, the question arises. What are the stages? I'm I'm coming. I think I in the five minutes or so I shall I shall wind it up for the next lecture from the next time. So now what actually happened? Now the question arises: What are the facts of the dream? Do everyone have a dream? If if the sleeping stage are yes, we may not remember dream, but rest be assured that every one of us have a dream at least three to six times in our sleep. But they are of such a short duration, they come as a flash and we do not remember it. But then there is. And now the second part is, this dream uh, is, well, remains in you for a minimum three to four minutes to a 20 minute to a maximum period. And when you work up 95% of the dream, just you cannot remember it. If you make a very effort and you are very sincere to it, then you may be able to know about it. The list, next part is de developing a long-term memory. This dream, if you have a dream, it, it affects your memory too. And this also helps you, as, as mentioned, dream can help you learn and develop long-term memory. So when you get out, uh, get up from the dream, or get up from the bed, or before leaving the bed, or when you are having a lucid dream, you can always try to get into the previous, uh, some more second earlier, and this act will always improve. But what actually happens? Do we have a colored dream? Do we have a black and white dream? It depends upon, mostly we, we have got two types of cells. One is called as a rod cell, other is a clone cell. The eye retina rod cell is responsible for forming the image. The cone cell is responsible for forming the coloration. So most of the dreams are affected by the rod cell is normally black and white in the color. But it can also have a color dream provided the cone cell also get stimulated by rotatory eye movements. But what actually happened to the person who are blind? To a blind person, the dreams they have is of the next century. They have a dream of a taste. They have a dream of a smell rather than a sight because they have not seen it. So they identify, they have a dream of disorder into it. Now the point is, as I told you, broadly, a dream can be defined as the following types of the dream. And with this, I will conclude it. We'll get into the other part, what I have said earlier, into the second lecture, because I think I have got only five or seven minutes time left for a further discussion. In the discussion, if you have some questions, we will deal with it. So, so what types of the dreams are? The dreams, what comes is of the current and the recent event, normally that has occurred in the past 24 to 48 hours. For instance, if you go to a movie and you are impressed by the movie and you have become emotional over that, either you have been too much enjoyed it or you have wept in the movie, you have moved with the actor. In such cases, you do have a chances of having that grief is more. You have a dispute of your wife, and you are having a dispute of a wife for two days or the three days, there is a high possibility of having a dream. So the dream is, the types of the dream first is the current event which has occurred 24 or 48 hours ago. Then there are symbolic dreams. That is called a metaphorical or a symbolic dream of a life event. Uh, 
the life event, for instance, uh, there are two types. Uh, I can be explained it to uh, One is the trans, uh, transcendental one. A mother gets a dream, but the son may be at, uh, in the America, or the, the different continent altogether. But the mother has a feeling. She all of a sudden gets up and say, yeah, I had a very bad dream. You just phone to my son or to my daughter, who is a bar of, they are in the distress. Something is, is there. They are in the trouble and we must find it out. And most of the time it comes correct. So how do one get a, a, a dream of a person who is a far off, not linked? It is what waves and what vibration comes to him. Science is not very well able to explain or define it. But it is a symbolic type of thing. And it, uh, it helps sometimes. Get a, uh, the mother, the parents come to know about the difficulty or the distress. They may be able to provide the insight or to solve the problem to it. Sometimes uh, the dream also occurred to the child. The mother has died. And then the mother comes into the dream of the child. How do you get into the dream of the child? And they explain about to be cautious of those uncle or the relative who are obnoxious in the families and who, who, who can create harm to it. How to become a good child? How to become an obedient child? This type of the dream do come in the child. Sometimes it, they, they, they have a feeling of their shadow coming into a house. And sometimes they even have a dream into a daytime. This type of dream is called as a symbolic dream. Fantasy or a comfort dream. It also, uh, it's, it's a, when it's fantasy or a comfort dream, it occurs after a fulfillment of certain desire. Comfort dreams shows positiveness in the life. Uh, Sometimes uh, it, it gives you a satisfaction too. For instance, you get a comfort. You have been uh, bullied by a child in your school. Then you get in a dream and you get a comfort that you bullied him in, the, in your dream. And then, then you feel happy what the distress you have by getting bullied by the child. Such type of the dream which, which, which comes due to the activation of the subconscious field. So this subconscious region is responsible to it. Creating problem and solving the problem. You know, James Watson, who gave the structure of a DNA, helix molecule, he got this idea in the brief. Albert Einstein, he, he, while he was asleep, he got the idea of relativity. Archimedes, you know, he was, he was almost in a semi-conscious stage in the bathtub completely new. He said, Eureka, Eureka. He got the idea of the floating. So such a dream, you get the great in, inventions or the idea or a discovery that is called as fantastic, that is called as a creative a problem solving yeah. thing, James Watt. Similarly, there are nightmares too. It is due to the unsolved anxieties, fear and traumas from the past. Due to the neurological, physiological, and etiological action, for this you need a qualified uh, psychiatric to solve it. This neurological and psychiatric. the one dream is very popular is a lucid dream. Lucid dream when you dream and you are semi-conscious state, you know that you are dreaming and is still enjoying it. You it's almost after at the time of awakening you are. Sometimes you get into a sleep, sometimes you are awakened, sometimes in the conscious state, sometimes in the subconscious state. So the lucid dream is a very interesting dream. It dreams sooner or later aware, the, the, the dreamer sooner or later aware, and still he wants to dream and in this stage of the dream. It is a fun and enjoyable dream. The dream with the distorted fulfillment and thus dream is people enjoy it activate it and then if he gets to more. And the next is supernatural dream. The supernatural dream, it, it is a type of the, the first type is pre, 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 premonition dream. It, it is a various feature event. 
and later become they say you get an idea that this thing has to be what is the dream not only reveals about the past not only reveals about the present which happened with your wife or two the it also reveals about the future which is going to occur to you so this this the idea of pre premonition is this type of a dream also people have then there is a telepathic dream the dream which uh, which i i told you the telepathy in the case of mother and child and then the last is is shared dream with, with when there the dream come when you are sitting in a hall or when you are sitting in a commune and you, all of you have a dream of something that the god came into it or you have all a fear of examination so what actually happened a communication dream a communal dream or a shared dream by so it sometime after when there is a death in the family everyone in the family have a dream of the people who have departed friends i have already discussed in the earlier that we have a different point to be taken into consideration i stop my lecture by just this describing the type of it now further what are the dreams which we get and we will categorize the dream and put it to the more scientific analysis in my last lecture thank you for the coherence and for the patient hearing sorry i am not able to communicate the idea which i tried to to make it simpler uh, but still i had to use some scientific words to explain to it now i if the feel i am open for discussion another part whatever thank you sir thank you now i request uh, for uh, any kind of discussion and or uh, any questions uh, still we have some time we can uh, utilize it yes one gentleman <coughs> brother from new zealand uh, yes ganesh ji you can uh, ask what is your Yes, Ganesh. Uh, uh, just uh, volume your uh, <coughs> microphone. I am not able to. We are not able to listen. Kindly. The music. Hello. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, thank you, brother Ajay. Uh, are you able to hear me, sir? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clear, very clear. Okay. In the beginning, you mentioned that the dreams are the activities of the brain, the memories stored in the brain. Have I understood that one correctly? Ah, uh, yes. Because you said uh, yes, the the dreams are due to the memories stored in the brain. and also that how we get the even the whatever it is actually if that is the case we can't explain the premonition or the information about the previous birth etc so i just want to know whether i understood your statement correctly whether the dreams are due to the memories stored in the physical brain or something else thank you uh, so much yeah yeah well uh, i am permitted to explain it i i i uh, started with a lecture that uh, brain do consist only 2% of the uh, weight or this cells we have about 75 trillions or more cell in our system but billions of cells are there in the brain and they are in a so compressed and so in close by and i also mentioned that there are more than 200 types of a cells in your brain and some of the cells are in a very active always projecting that for instance the eye retinal cell optic goes of, of audition auditory cells smell cells and all cells and then there are other cells like pineal gland is producing serotonin or melatonin or oxytocin or whatever the hormones the love hormone pumpation hormone i even reflected that that there is a god transmitter god neuron you must have heard cases that uh, that if a certain person met an accident 
and he he was a very renowned doctor one of the relative i can tell you he was a very renowned doctor and he, uh, he he was a very renowned professor in england and was in the uk he met a car accident and he was almost on the death bed but i do not know what is trickle he became a wonderful singer and an artist probably in one generation maybe earlier rebirth he had this capacity which he which was there in built in one form is stored in the form of the memory which got triggered or stimulated during the course of accident so he forgot all the english lab, uh, teaching or the english knowledge he stored by his, uh, that is uh, that is what what for by his karma but he triggered out he developed an a habit and all of a sudden a habit developed was this so in your system in your memory there are even the past even the dream not only reflect of the present also of the past and it also reflect because everything is a well the small spark of the shiva which we get converted or that that is small small monad contains the complete evolutionary unfoldment the unfoldment in all the level at the level of the uh, at the level of the plant animals or even the material world or the human world or further it has to evolve into devanchal in the theosophy so it is all unfoldment but it is all there it is only the unfoldment which has to occur so the future or as you ask the how is it possible that the trans migration things or the things coming from the outer side yes the vibration it is only that cause what as as a, as a radio you have and you fix a certain frequency once it get tuned with the frequency you want to desire you get binaka you get silon or you get bbc to hear by just tuning and bringing back to if the two frequency comes to the uh, compatibility it is stimulate the store cell of the previous action or the 200 type which we do not know we only as a scientist we can say we only know about 20 types of a cell which are responsible for our metabolic activities or the creativity active or ethological activities or or a behavioral activities whatever it is it is only that the rest is not known to the world of the science but they are existing so if they get triggered by matter of a chance or by his own grace he develops a spiritual power he developed mysterious uh, things to do he developed mysterious thing including a mysterious dreaming and you know there has been a cases where uh, tamam medical cases has been solved uh, that is legal cases has been solved and uh, such thing do occur and that is all possibility that is what i think what i feel like thank you sir thank you thank you <clears throat> any any brother like to ask any question or any uh, any comment yes, sir okay we have another session so so yes, sir. Oh, i got i got a question um, yes sir yes sir please yes, sir. please do yeah dr ajay kumar um you didn't mention anything about subconscious mind what we have in our subconscious mind um yeah i did mention about the subconscious mind the things are there uh, let us say especially uh, in the child case uh, if the child is been molested must have heard about it they have a very very uh, 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 traumatic dreams a uh, very painful dream they do have because uh, they are not able to explain it but the event which has occurred uh, occurred in the past which they are not able to uh, recollect it has made an impr- imprint in this where imprint in their subconscious mind so whenever they get into a sleep because of the vibration in the subconscious i told you the, the brain cells are having large number of energy they are always in the state of irritability they are always in the stage of production and as well as in activation that is consumption and production so they they in the activity they get they very often get triggered and they get in the trauma 
they get into a fear into a sleep especially you must have heard is those who have suffered these thing in their early childhood days similarly the subconscious mind do plays a very important role in forming the dream okay sir there are another question arunima ji she asked uh, i had uh, dreams which becomes real i had those dreams several times does it due to the activation of our astral plane yeah again i could not follow the question please repeat it uh, it is in the chat box uh, ajay ji the dreams yeah. tell me about the dreams which becomes a reality i had those dreams several times does it question is does the dreams which became reality is due to the activation of our astral plane activation of our astral plane it's a good question Yeah. the good question when i say where where when we when we talk about uh, uh, when we put theosophy into into this subject where is the astral plane where is the physical plane where is the causal or where is the mental plane are they at a different level no they are very close they are just a different stage of consciousness right the amount of consciousness present in the physical level and the astral they are very very knitted very close by so all the astral or the causal or the mental activities are very close by only thing is by by a certain boost by a certain uh, entropy or by certain stimulant you can reach either to the astral and they are very nearby so may it be the mental may it be the astral may it be the causal it all affect it give the reflection on the on the system in fact when we talk about a muladhar and when we get into a sahasra when we get into a agya chak and when the last we get into a sahasra chakra the sahasra chakra is not in the physical state although we talk about ki pineal body are there which produces the serotonin and melatonin are responsible or not only sleep cycle all the activity in the system and by which the death can also be predicted but then it is been regulated by hypofacial and then it is being it is been regulated by the astral system which situate just on within your aura just above this physical identity yes not only the mental uh, mental sphere the astral sphere and causal sphere all affect each other okay then uh, brother taral thank you sir Munshi, thank you okay taral <laughs> munsi he, he yeah. wants to ask question yes taral ji yeah. tell uh, <laughs> dr ajay this is taral from here from mumbai uh, uh, yeah nice, uh, nice to my, see you sir so, so. thank you sir my so, so, question so, so. is related to subconscious mind right uh, whatever i have studied i just want to correct it from you that uh, when we sleep it is said that uh, our subconscious mind takes over so we don't remember in which position we sleep but we get up afresh that is one thing another thing is uh, you can also connect with the subconscious mind through an art called hypnotism so is uh, that uh, when we connect it uh, our subconscious mind with hypnotism is it a biological act or it is a uh, travel to some planes which we were speaking to astral or uh, mental uh, yeah uh, very wonderful sir an excellent question and <laughs> this question this question is the major uh trust which i am going to explain in the second part okay, how does okay. it is all it is not the conscious mind it is the subconscious mind okay. and it is all the regulation of certain certain secretion the vibration created by when we talk about the alpha beta which we will be talking about alpha beta theta or gamma and hypo gamma stages and how does this affect and how does it trigger the the transducer to produce certain chemical which affect to the distant system the master plan present is related not to the external factor it is because of the subconscious mind the yes. sleeping which we occur which we get into 
is not because of the it is it is it is it is the integrated effect as i told you in so, so uh, in, in in the in the in the that is night walking sleep walk what actually happened it is the subconscious mind it gets affected to the spinal nerve he is in a deep sleep he still he is active to wear his cloth take the key from there and he doesn't remember all it is all done not by the conscious but the subconscious man tuned by a certain situation regulated by rem rotatory eye movement and thereby the chemical produced as i told you the heptocrine type of chemicals are secreted inside it they regulate they stimulate the cells to behave into certain and when they sleep they come back to the bed they sleep and when they get up they don't remember what they have done it it is all if the subconscious mind do it i shall be explaining it because i was just okay. introducing the <coughs> thank you sir Indian okay mind. sir uh, then uh, the better half of the taramun she she asked uh, sometime we get deja uh, feeling we assume it's uh, in the dream we saw something is it true uh, shall i repeat it again? ha uh, repeat it see, sometime we get a dejuvenated feeling Uh, we assume it's in the dream we saw something. I Means she 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 has seen something in the dream. Subsequently, she is uh, get a dejuvenated or something. Correct, uh, correct. <coughs> yes. Yeah, I could get you a question. Yes. Well, yes. sleep is a part of a circadian cycle, which provides you rejuvenation. is a one of the important activity is not only to your immune system it rejuvenate it re detoxicate your system and then it make you fit for a more and more energy production for the next day work now coming down that sometime you have a feeling of a rejuvenation as i told you that the 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 brain cell now coming down to amygdala uh, or a hippocampus or coming down to ras system in the mid brain that is reticular uh, system this system produces certain hormone as i told you oxytocin <coughs> diapermine hormone are produced by the stimulation in the hypothalamus what is the hypothalamus hypothalamus is hypo is the below the thalamus it is a part of forebrain what does it does it reaches into a limbic cell what is that limbic cell of the forebrain it has a god neuron and god transmitter what is god god is a reflection of love and compassion so the pulse by any means is triggered it produces a god transmission a neurotransmitter i will be discussing it i have given you just a small hint that there yes. is a neurotheologist who is now were coming up very fast in this biological sciences and they are explaining it so what actually happened during the stimulus the vibration say let us the gamma vibration of 4 to 5 hertz affect the cell it it, it affect it irritate the cell it makes the vibration in the cell what cell a cells of diploamine or cells of any cells which produce oxytocin which produces happiness and in the sleep if this cell get stimulated in the dream you feel happiness it is all the side reaction as i am speaking my voice is not only reaching you it is reaching all the surrounding so if yes. that cell is triggered it will create happiness in you it may be possible if it triggers into the negative way it may create pain in you a secretion just negative to it which will be injurious to your memory thank you sir uh sinha sir would you like to add anything no i must congratulate okay thank you to dr ajay rai sir. who is speaking biologically connecting the brain mind subconscious states really i am enjoying but one thing is sure 
Ajay, I, I would like to ask you, do you like to have dreams? <laughs> well, sir, well, sir, it's a good question. Everyone should have a dream uh, while, while they are awakened. And the dream wow. should be to fulfill the divine uh, goal by which we have taken our path. Yes. It is the responsibility of each and every citizen to, to clear the debt to the society, to the mother and father by which, which, which has built me to this state that I am able to think, I am able to think rationally, I am able to do something to myself, to the society. So it is now that everybody should have a dream. The dream should be there. And now the question is, when you talk about biological, the dream during sleep, it is an inevitable phenomena, sir. I and you, everybody have a dream. If the only question is whether we remember it, recollect it while awakening or not. But there is scientific proof that when REM occurs, rotatory eye movement occurs, the dreams occur. And these dreams may be of a very yes, short period. Yes, dream, dream, is a, dream is essential. It is significant. Correct. It has its Correct. own significance in human life. And Correct. we have vision. Man must have right vision. And he must contemplate on it. And it may come even in the dreaming state. He may be active because brain never gets tired. Correct. Like heart never gets tired. In the same manner, electric activities on the brain are always continuously going on. And as we said, now we are speaking in science as the dreaming consciousness. And one thing you mentioned, I liked it, which I am enjoying. I am enjoying dreams and again dreams that I am aware that I am dreaming. I am aware that I am seeing the dream and again sleeping and again that dream continues. So this is a lucid dream. And uh, in this state, only thing we say that we are not having sound sleep. <laughs> when there is no sound sleep, actually the dreaming state starts. And once the dreaming state starts, why not enjoy it? Just uh, look into it. Don't remember it. Just look into it, go through it. And again, you get the deep sleep. And I think we are enjoying our consciousness. The dreaming state is the result of our subconscious. And most of the uh, causes of dream are because of uh, upset in our different systems. And that leads to many kinds of dreams. As Arunima said, some dreams come real. It's true. Some dreams come real. Even it is a scientific fact. As you said rightly, benzene ring or DNA structure or what you Archimedes is said. So when we contemplate deeply, then in that state of dreaming state, we get some hints in the form of dreams. And those hints can be utilized. And uh, this is how science of dream, your lecture is really inspiring. Thank you very much for going deep into it, especially to the uh, biochemical level. Thank you very much and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating words, sir. Encouraging and uh, I'm greatly indebted to you. But what you, you said is, uh, what you said is a lucid dream and lucid dream is always an enjoyable one. We yeah. always want to continue <laughs> in the, the lucid dream for a larger period. Thank oh. you once again, sir, Thank for a very you. big time and especially our great teacher. <coughs> Thank you. So anybody, any other question, they can note it and we will put it before. Sir, uh, no question, just four lines in... Uh, आपके लिए मैंने कुछ विचार आया तो लिखा है जो अभी आपने कहा वो सपने क्या सपने हैं जो बंद आंखों से देखे जाएं वो सपने क्या सपने हैं जो बंद आंखों से देखे जाएं सपना तो वो है जो खुली आंखों से देख हकीकत में बदला जाए सपना तो वो है जो खुली आंखों से देख हकीकत में बदला जाए
But I do understand uh, that the food do play an important part in every system. Uh, you take you you take a very spicy food. You will not have a good sleep. You will be twisting on the bed from this and that apart. So if you take the food, the food do affect our metabolic activities. And and I am sure I have not gone through it. But it's a wonderful question. I think you the question you have placed is. Food do have an effect in my, our physiology. If our physiology is the stage one, I will not be able to recover the uh, the, the 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 twist in the stomach will always cause. If we have taken a very noxious type, a very spicy food will always cause trouble. And then if the brain will not be in the in the slow motion or a muscle will not be, it will the the first stage of the speech will 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 be enhanced. and will be in their trouble so the food do if the food is of a quantity is a quality do affect our system and do affect even our brain although uh, uh, because it is all correlated the gut has a large number of uh, neurons supplied to it you you will be surprised to know if the neurons are kept into a line it goes to almost 8 lakhs 50000 km in one human being all neuron are taken out and put into a linear form it goes to more than 8 lakhs kilometer how many neuron it has 75 trillion cells are supplied with that is sympathetic parasympathetic sympathetic and autonomous nervous and then do that wonderful question and i think uh, it's need to be further investigated upon ओके ओके सर बाइस थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट मितालिनी जी टू कंक्लूड विद क्लोजिंग प्रेयर नमस्ते टू ऑल ओ सदगमय ज्योतिर्कमय मृत्युर्मा अमृतंगमय सर्वे सुखि सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्य दुख भाग भवे शांति 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 थैंक यू ईच एंड एवरी वन थैंक यू एंड दिस दिस वीक we now complete concluded so in the next week on 10th on 8th 9th 10th we have three days program then uh, uh next is our easter conference so for uh, indian section we have a busy schedule for 8th 9th 10th and also 15 16 and 17 a easter conference i will issue the notices soon to each and every one as well as for 8th 9th 10th with this announcement thank you for joining the thank online you. thank you pradeep you are doing very thank well thank you sir it is a hard task to organize <laughs> thank you sir. thank you thank you thank you pradeep thank you bhagwan ji thank you